Morgan Scientific Incorporated presents Flow Volume Verification, How to Use a 3-Liter Syringe. By the end of this video, you will have learned what is flow volume verification, how to perform flow volume verification using a 3-liter syringe, and what correct and incorrect 3-liter syringe use looks like. The purpose of flow volume verification is to ensure that the signals being read by the electronics inside the spirometer conform to a known calibrated standard. For flow and volume, a syringe that has been calibrated to 3 liters of volume is normally supplied with each instrument, which gives a fixed mechanical standard. Flow volume verification is performed by injecting a known volume, typically 3 liters, at various flow rates. Achieving accurate volumes at different flow rates demonstrates that volume measurement is independent of the flow rate. This is important because pulmonary function tests require accurate volume measurements at different flow rates. You are now looking at an example of a flow volume verification screen. On the left you see a graph that is tracking the flow rate in liters per second on the y-axis and liters on the x-axis. The right-hand graph is showing volume on the y-axis across time on the x-axis. In this example, expiratory syringe strokes of 3 liters at 3 different flow rates are being graphed. Notice how the volume is always 3 liters regardless of the flow rate. To perform a flow volume verification like the one you just saw, you need to use a calibrated 3 liter syringe. When used properly, a 3 liter syringe will produce exactly 3 liters of volume per syringe stroke. A complete expiratory syringe stroke means that you must start with the syringe piston completely pulled out and you push it in until you gently bump the piston head against the inside of the syringe. A complete inspiratory syringe stroke is the exact opposite. You start with the syringe piston completely pushed in and you pull it out until you gently bump the piston head against the inside of the syringe. Let's watch a graphical demonstration of this. The syringe on the top is in the start position for an inspired stroke and the bottom one is in the starting position for an expired stroke. Notice how the head of each piston is resting against the inside edges of the syringe. Here is an example of a complete inspired stroke. Listen for the pump and now an expired stroke. Again, we hear the bump. Let's watch a live demonstration of some correct positioning for using a 3 liter syringe. The syringe should be positioned flat on the lap. One hand is used to stabilize the syringe while the other operates the piston. The piston is pumped completely in and out, gently bumping the end of the syringe. Each syringe stroke is smooth, regardless of how fast the piston is being pumped. Now here are some incorrect syringe stroke positions. You want to keep the piston rod straight. Do not torque it up or down because this could impact the accuracy of the volume being produced by the syringe. To produce high flow rates, it's best to start fast and then slow down as you get towards the end of the stroke. To produce low flow rates, it's best to have a consistent slow motion and not start and stop in a jerky motion. Thank you for watching.